Hey guys, time for the next video since we couldn't fit it all in the first video. It's like a half an hour long. Um, so, the previous video, if you want to mainly hear about the record of Spear of Halloween, the items I got from Spear of Halloween, my two trips plus the third one, well technically the second one, which involves replacing my cup and my Spencer's trip go to the previous one which I'll be putting in the um, description below and then uh, let's continue on um, this is practically the makeup that I got from the summer which I never had a chance to show you guys although you guys have been seeing me wear it this is not the Jeffree Star stuff which you guys probably have seen me wear, like, for the non too. This is, like, the stuff I got for my birthday. Or makeup that those who, like, lo like makeup but can't afford makeup because it's so expensive. Like, Ultra, for example. I recently started taking an interest for it, but I can never afford it because of how expensive it is but you should go for the limited uh, edition display it's always so cool and it's cheap like um so far I got like a few things from two things that they have August and October, October I think for my birthday it's Naruto on just the eyeshadow palette and the gold glitter um I can only I was only allowed to pick two and the fact that it was the display of the limited edition was almost all gone and that I wasn't paying for it so yeah I could have only picked two this is a really good palette I don't think I used any of it yet. No, I did not. But the colors, they're named after like, like villages, um, like just like, let's see, one's Biancugan, Copy Ninja, Hidden Leaf Village, Robin Ichiwaku, Sakura, Hidden Sand Village, Sharingan, Nine Tears, Rysengan, Hidden Stone Village, Jonin, Hidden Mist, Hero, which Hero is the gold root, by the way, Kazakage, and Hidden Cloud. I hope you guys can see that. You're not really going to see it now with the, um, the quality of the light. But, like, maybe one day I have a... Maybe when I do my makeup with this palette, I can like do a video while doing it. I will have to retrieve my ring light from the salon because I usually let my sister use it. It's a, I kind of find it too bright for me having it directly in my face. But this is a very nice eyeshadow palette, but I haven't used it for my uh, movie trips because I've been watching the horror movies, so I use the Jeffree Star ones, at least her like red and black ones. I forget what it's called, what set it's called. But I have definitely been using the Notto um, body glitter. It's called Go Dust. I don't know if you'll be able to get this or not, because like I said, these are like the um themed limited edition makeup sets i think this one was like five bucks and this is like 12. that's why it's like that's why they're so easy to buy and if you can't afford big expensive makeups and you like makeup or you're interested in it you should just go for these especially the fact that it's so they're like they're themed so it makes it so on. I've been using this a lot ever since my sister bought it for me 
I used it for my birthday. I used it for like fun occasions throughout September. I used it for October, like the week of Halloween. And I definitely covered my face in it for Halloween. There's just no picture of it because, yeah, Halloween was a little off as well. It was definitely off for some reason. Like, there wasn't really any houses that were decorated. There wasn't really anyone passing candy out. And there wasn't really any trick-or-treaters either. It was so weird. And the fact that I didn't get the costume that I wanted. I don't know. It just was weird. Me weird um choosing to wear my mermaid leggings and put on a crown. And um well I like the fact that I use these and put it on like the side of my face and cover my face in like glitter. But it was just still so weird. But at least I combine it with some horror movie stuff. I wear my Killer Clown shirt. I still got tons of compliments for that. But yeah. Oh, you should go for the themed limited edition stuff there. Like, but if you do need mascara, you should go for this one. Um, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Yeah, sure, it might be expensive. I forget how expensive, but it's definitely, according to my twin, it's the best mascara at Ultra. It's the best one. I had it to replace mine. And yes, this one is definitely way better than mine was. It's way better, and it's way noticeable as well. You could definitely see it in my pictures. It's way better. I have another themed one as well. Sailor Moon. I technically wanted the blue one, but there wasn't blue. This is cream gel liner, which I still don't know how to use liner. I technically just do it like on right under or right like the eyelid or something. But when I tried this, I didn't really see the color, so I'm not sure if I did this, if I'm using this right or not. But I'm still gonna hold on to it, just in case when eventually I do start getting real good at makeup. And plus, I didn't really spend much on it. I think this is like nine bucks it's not expensive though compared to everything else in ultra these limited edition stuff is a pretty good price for me or anyone else who well can't afford makeup on a daily or weekly basics so yeah this is definitely at least this is definitely worth it. Like, I seriously need to get more of this. Or at least just gold glitter in general. And at least I don't have to complain about Halloween earrings now. Because this is filled with them. I mainly got them from Pop Shelf. It's a new store recently where we live. Even though some of the earrings, um, they're kind of like dented, you know, like the, you know, when you insert them, they're kind of like dented, but the designs are nice. I just have to be careful when it comes to like these flat ones, cause, um, which ones do I wear? Yeah, I think it was the star ones that I just showed you. Um, I wore it, but I think my ear hole didn't real didn't realize that I was still wearing it, so it decided to start closing over it, and my dad had to for 
pull it out. Like literally force it out of my ear hole. And well, that was not fun. It was seriously not fun at all. Oh my god. These are pretty cool. I think they're like my first heavy dangle earrings. <laughs> not really heavy at all, but they're cool. And they was sparkly. <laughs> Rachel and Jess, they kind of mm, wish they had my ears because they have to worry about what kind of earrings they get. They have to wear gold because they can't handle any kind of earrings that I can. Like me, as long as I like run them under like warm water then I'm fine yeah. and I and as long as I like if there's like maybe a little bit of pus or like I don't know something in the hole as long as I just remove it then I'll be fine so yeah <laughs> okay well that's the makeup before I go to the video where it's all about Legos I'll talk like the dollar store one and this new like Lego set. It technically it's not real Legos, but it's still cool and unfortunately I know I didn't build it in front of the camera. I was too excited. But um this is something I got from Hobby Lobby today. Technically Jessica did. But it's still pretty cool and it's so cool that they have an anime section now. I really hope it stays. Because I'm so going back for more. This is my hat. Naruto Shippuden. And there's Naruto in his sage mode. And here's a pen. Naruto Shippuden. Which I didn't open yet. So you're practically going to see me open it now. Been a while since you actually you guys saw me open something I guess I don't remember the last one. Oh, this is just five bucks. This is like eleven. I still have to take that off. <sighs> Damn. Ooh. I seriously do not want to rip this box. <laughs> I think I have no choice. I'm surprised Rachel didn't even notice the hat on my head when I walked into the salon today. Technically, the salon is supposed to be closed on Wednesdays, but um, she was there because she was waiting for someone. So, yeah, we were being nosy of why she was there, and, well, I guess I decided to open my mouth about that I got some treats. Mm, that's so cool. Well, there's Naruto, and yeah, you might want to look. <laughs> Check that out. The Naruto Shippuden logo is moving. Floaty pen. That's cool, man. That's so cool, man. Okay, so. Okay, so how do you use it? Oh, you turn it. Okay. <laughs> and it works. Oh my god, did I really turn my G into an A? Hey, at least. Hey, that's cool. Oh, there's my note to that I brought. Well, technically, Jessica brought today. Okay, I better move on to my Lego subject. Technically, tonight I was supposed to do a Lego thing, but I'm guessing that's Friday or Saturday because I realized I didn't get all the sets that are at the dollar store, so. We'll have to wait till the weekend, but I'm still gonna show you the show you the stuff. 
that I got and what I'm planning to do with those Legos. Um, fake Legos. <laughs> okay. See you in the next video. Bye. And, well, give it a like if you agree with me about this Lego. I think it's good. I think it's a good idea. I think it's the best. And I would definitely go to Ultra for these limited edition make unlimited edition sets. I almost did today, but then as soon as I saw that I got less than seven bucks, I'm like, I can't. So like and comment if you, you know, like this video or my previous one. See you in the next video. <laughs>